So, some of you guys who are regular viewers of my channel are probably very confused by the title of this video because you're like, Carson, your farm's already pretty darn high tech. That's what I thought too. So, our family uses climate field view and these climate field view drive pucks in all of our equipment. So each planter tractor has one, the sprayer has one, the combines have one. So basically it records everything from the planters, you know, varieties, down pressure, uh, population, speed, and the sprayers is a spray rate and what you're spraying and combines it's, you know, moisture and, and yield and uh, you get the point. And it works darn well. It's super easy. It plugs right into the diagnostic port, connects via Bluetooth to your iPad, and your iPad sends it to the cloud. All is good. But past the mobile app, which is fantastic, by the way, for marking um, trials and rocks and, and looking at your maps, but past that mobile app that I have on my phone, there's not a whole lot of things that you can do with there, at least that I've found. I mean, you can make prescription maps and stuff, but not very well. And the, 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 compute, the desktop version for like analyzing your data isn't all that great. And uh, so we've never really done anything with our maps besides just knowing where we did stuff. But that's gonna change today. So for those of you who don't know, I had a internship at JD, uh, <laughs> CMB Operations this past summer, which is a John Deere dealership from Minnesota to Idaho. And I learned a lot about John Deere Operations Center which is basically climate field view on steroids. What's so great about John Deere Operations is that they work with so many other companies, including climate field view, to get all of your data into one platform. I've already, I've already exported everything from 2012 from field view onto JD Operations and it didn't take me all that long. And you can get all of your AB guidance lines in one spot. You can set plans, you can set operators, so that we know who's more efficient in the same rig. And if you have an MTG, which is basically a fancier version of the puck, you can get all this in real time, along with um, like um, remote display access, so you can look at your monitors from your phone. So let's say my dad's having trouble setting his monitor. He calls me, Carson, what in the heck do I do? Well, I can pull up JD Operations. I can log into his, into his tractor and see the monitor. I can't control the monitor, but I can see what he's looking at. So that way I can walk him through the steps. Um, there's also machinery data. So fuel level, death level, uh, machine location, um, engine statistics. So like, uh, you can set date to date, how much time when the tractor was running, how much time was it idling, when was it working, um, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's just, and the biggest thing is that the field analyzer, you're like, for analyzing your yield or your planning maps, is so much better on the desktop version of JD Operations and Climate Field View. So my goal today is to get everything set up so that if something is in a field, it's recording what it's doing and making a map. Except for like the grain cart. I don't care about where the grain cart is. So it doesn't matter if it's a 9570RT and 9530T doing tillage. It doesn't matter if it's a sprayer's um, spring. It doesn't matter if it's combines. It doesn't matter. I'm going to try and get the high boys set up so that they're making maps. Okay? We're going to get this. I mean, the high boys won't be this video. They'll be, they'll be during the winter. But you get my point. So not everything is getting an MTG because you're still able to plug a USB stick into your John Deere monitors, like your 2630 or Gen 4 monitors, and export the maps to a USB stick and then put them on a computer and upload them that way. So that's what I'm gonna do with the tillage tractors, except for the 9570RT, which already has one of these in from factory. But um, what I'm gonna put these in is the important stuff during each season. So our sprayer is gonna get one, our combine is going to get one. So our S780 already has one in it from factory. Our 9870 does not. So that's going to get one of these. And during the spring, each of our planter tractors is going to have one of these. So I'm going to have two of these total. Um, you can move them between pieces of equipment. So during the fall, this will be in the combine. And then over the winter, I'll transfer it over to a planter tractor. So in order to make the MTGs more portable between the combine and the tractor during spring and fall, I put it in this little, that's actually a DJI Mavic air case. I stripped out the internals 
hold the MTG in, um, put the little antenna on the side there, so that way I can just kind of plug it in, grab it, go. Yeah, so I actually had to come down to our uh, our dealership here where our 9870 is gonna be inspected here pretty soon and gonna install this thing. So down here in this corner is the puck. Take that out, plug in the MTG, then I just plug the power to one of these power ports. And then once we get our 2630 monitor in here, I have an extension for this and that'll plug into the monitor. So now this case just has a nice home next to the window so this wireless antenna can get signal and we're good to go. So I ended up doing our data stuff kind of backwards. So why, what I ended up doing was rather than taking everything from monitors, put it on JD Operations Center and then taking the field view stuff, I did field view first and then made all the fields. So now it doesn't quite align with what's on our monitors. So what I did was I put a USB stick in the monitor, um, imported it all into the USB stick, so I have all the guidance lines. I then wiped out this monitor in the 9570RT, and then I took and I made a setup file on JD Operations Center with all of our fields on it, and I wirelessly transferred it from my computer to this tractor. So once I get that on, then I can take the USB stick that I had in this tractor before, plug it in, import all the guidance slides on, and then I'll be good to go. The only problem is that this is just one tractor and I have to do it to all of our 2630 monitors, this tractor and the combine. So I'm just gonna show this one and talk about it just this once, but I have to do it for everything. But once I get it set up, it'll be beautiful. So now I need to measure from the point of contact on the tractor of the implement, which would be the hitch pin, to about the center of the V-ripper shanks because I want this to record data correctly. So if you measure from there to there and put it in the monitor, it will, well, record correctly. I need you to hold the end of this at the draw bar or even with the draw bar. Uh, like straight out in front of me though. Like, yep. Um, let's go, let's go middle of the shanks. 25 feet, okay. All right, thank you. Okay, equipment manager, IH875. Yeah, here we go, 25 feet. Recording SCV1. Implement frame. Ah, I should probably do this too. Okay, point of rotation. 21 feet will do. There we go. Um, let's put the working point in the front shanks on this. 15, sorry, 15 foot and point of rotation, 22 foot, five inches, let's say. Perfect, so this and this are now set up. I uh, still have one more chisel plow to set up behind the 9530T, but we don't have that hooked on yet. But um, come the end of the season, I'll just plug the USB flash drive into all the tillage equipment monitors, take it off there, upload it on the JD operations so we got it. So now some of you are probably thinking, Carson, why in the heck do you want to record tillage? Well, it's one of those things that you don't really need to record because you know you can see what you're doing. But it is nice because you can show, it'll show the date it was done. Um, we have a case of H ripper, but if you had a John Deere of True Set, um, you can record your depth so you could actually do like trials or in some cases we'll rip part of a field and then uh, vertical till the other part so it'd be kind of cool to see exactly where that line is the following year to see if there's any yield difference and in the case of 9570RT which can show engine statistics um, it'd be cool to see fuel usage um, in different settings that you might try so I could try like the custom um, 
portion of the transmission and then full manual and see which one's actually more fuel efficient. And then you can set up different operators and a bunch of cool stuff with 9570RT. And even 8360RT, the 9530T, I don't think will have that option. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So it got late, um, we had a little, if you guys remember the, the cleaning rye video, yeah, we had the motor go out on that conveyor today, so we spent about three hours trying to get that figured out. But, so just to kind of recap, I can now record tillage on the chisel plow, I can record tillage on the V-Ripper, I have 9870 set up to record uh, yield and moisture and speed and everything there when combining. Now we have the S780. Now I'm not gonna show you what I'm doing to the S780 because it's a lot of computer clicking and, and uh, monitor clicking. And I'd love to show you guys JD Operations and the Operations Center and how cool it is. But the problem is, is that I would need to blur out so much. There's so much of our personal information on there that it would take me years to edit and then you guys won't get anything out of it anyway. So I'm gonna explain it. So, um, we planted using climate field view, like I've previously mentioned. And now I want to combine using John Deere Operation Center and climate field view. So the beautiful thing about climate field view is that when you plant your fields and you, you know, lots of times we'll plant half a plant or one variety of corn, half a plant or another variety of corn. When you go and combine, it automatically picks up what variety you planted there, what variety you're currently combining, and then goes on and shows on the monitor so you don't have to do anything. John Deere can do the same thing, but you need to create what's called a variety locator file. And especially because we didn't plant with John Deere Operation Center, it's gonna be a little more difficult. So basically what I have to do is I have to go on the computer, I have to, exp I have to create a variety locator file, select all the fields I want with what is on the fields, and then send it wirelessly to the combine, and then I can accept it download it on, make sure everything looks good. That way, both Climate Field View and John Deere Operations Center are both recording what variety we are combining. Eventually, if all goes well this fall for our first test run of John Deere Operations, I would love to get an MTG for every single tractor we have. So that way, like, even in the 8410, even though it doesn't show engine statistics or fuel level or anything like that, you can still put it in there, you can still connect it to a monitor, so we could record our organic cultivating and stuff like that. And it's just nice to see location. Where is it at? Now we use a Trimble system on our towel plow, but I bet that we can record all the, uh, all the guidance lines in JD Operations too with that. Huh. So until I can prove John Deere Operations Center to my family, um, I'm not worried about it. I, I know it's awesome. I've seen it um, at work. But until I can prove it to my family, I'm going to stick with the one MTG, or the one mobile MTG, other than the 9570RT and the S780, which both already have one in it. Actually, I, actually two. I have another one on the way that I'll stick in one of the other tillage tractors. But um, my end goal, what I'd like to do eventually, is have an MTG in every single tractor that we got, or at least not in every single tractor. I'd like to have four MTGs total, or mobile ones, like in the case. So that way in the spring, I can have one in each planter tractor because they're both old enough that they don't have one, that they don't have uh, MTGs from the factory. I want to put one in our sprayer. That's old enough that doesn't have an MTG from the factory, at least a 4G one. And I want to have one in 9530T in the spring. So I need four to keep our most busy season where we have the most equipment going all have an MTG. Because knowing where your equipment is at all times is one of those things that you don't really know you need until you have it. There's a farm next to us, I'm really good friends with them. They actually have an MTG in every single one of their semi trucks. So the grain cart operator knows where all the trucks are at all times. And if you're spraying, the sprayer knows how far away the tender truck is and so on and so forth. And they claim that it's absolutely amazing and that they use it every single day. So eventually I'd like to get to that point, but at the current moment, I got it set up so we can at least record everything, have everything um, in the op center. So I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I know it's a little bit different. It's a lot more me explaining than showing because if I was showing everything, 
you would see so many like GPS locations and and just so much personal data that I really couldn't show it, so I kind of explain it. Um, if it's something that really interests you guys, maybe I can find a way to make a video on it some other time. So leave a comment down below if it does. But I think I'm going to end it here. See you in the next one.